Hi guys! We're going to start with our message. You read the yellow. Hello, marvelous musicians. This week we are learning about the origins of hip-hop. We are going to start with a really great book about DJ Cool Herc, who just celebrated his 65th birthday last month. And then play an awesome Google Doodle where you will get to be a DJ. Have fun! Choose kindness. Love, Mrs. Tarno. All right. We're going to start with our book. When the Beat Was Born, DJ Cool Herc and the Creation of Hip Hop by Laban Carrick Hill, illustrated by Theodore Taylor III. Clive loved music. Didn't matter what kind, whether it was a wah-wah scat of a jiving trumpet or a sorrowful twang of sad voice, or the belting boom of a gospel singer, little Clive loved the way sound thumped and bumped all the way down in his stomach. He loved the way the music made his feet go hip hip hop hippity hop. Little Clive lived in Kingston, Jamaica. His hero was a DJ named King George who threw the biggest and baddest house parties in the neighborhood of Somerset Lane. On Saturday nights, everybody who was anybody made their way to Somerset Lane for King George's hot dance parties. Little Clive was too young to go to the parties, so he went to the house when King George and his friends were setting up during the day. They'd arrive pushing a big old handcart stacked with crates of records. Clive had never seen so many records. He imagined himself as a DJ, surrounded by all those records, choosing just the right song to get the party jamming. He saw himself toasting like a DJ, talking and singing over the instrumental B-sides of records. Clive dreamed of everyone's feet going hip-hip-hop, hippity-hop. Little Clive really wanted to be a DJ. When Little Clive was 13, he joined his mama in New York City. Clive wasn't sure he liked his new neighborhood in the Bronx. It was cold. He had to wear a silly winter hat with ear flaps, and everybody made fun of him. But Clive did find one thing besides music that made him feel like he belonged. Sports. He ran track and lifted weights. He played basketball at the neighborhood playground. Soon little Clive was no longer little. He had grown to six foot five inches tall. He called himself Cool as Clyde after his favorite basketball player, Walt Clyde Frazier. But the kids in the basketball court took one look at his size and called him Hercules. Clive cut the name short to Herc, and then added cool to make it sound just right. Cool Herc. The best part of being big was that he could go with his mama to neighborhood house parties where he listened to the hottest tunes and danced like crazy. Clive loved those parties. They were just like the ones he stood outside of in Somerset Lane. One day, Cool Herc's father bought a monster sound system with giant six-foot speakers. But when he hooked up the system, instead of a really big sound coming from the speakers, a little mumbling sound trickled out. Cool Herc spent days switching wires and plugging things into other things, until one day the sound was big. Not just big like Cool Herc, but big like an entire block in the Bronx. Cool Herc and his little sister Cindy rented the rec room in their housing project on Sedgwick Avenue. They hand-wrote invitations telling everybody when and where to get their groove on. They posted cards around the neighborhood. They set up their father's sound system. On the night of the party, everybody who was anybody made their way to Sedgwick Avenue for Cool Herc's hot dance party. That's when Cool Herc became DJ Cool Herc. DJ Cool Herc noticed that dancers dance crazy hard during the breaks in the song when the lyrics ended and the music bumped and thumped. Herc knew that's what dancers wanted, so he plugged in two turntables instead of one. He put the same record on both turntables. He set it up so that when one record ended its break, he could flip over to the other turntable and play it again, doing this over and over. He made a 10 second break last for 10, 15, even 20 minutes or more. Herc remembered the way DJs in Jamaica would chant and toast over the music. He started calling out the names of his friends during the breaks. There goes my mellow, Coke LaRock in the house. There goes my mellow, Clark Kent in the house. There goes my mellow, Timmy Tim in the house. 
there goes my mellow bambata. Everybody loved hearing his or her name call out over the music. He'd compliment people on their dance moves. He'd talk about the music and send shout-outs. He'd make up little raps like the jump rope rhymes he heard on the playground. Or he would call, hey, Mike on the lights, Mike like a strobe. And Mike would flip the switch on and off. Over the next year, Herc took his parties to the streets and parks of the Bronx. He plugged his sound system into the lamp post. They pulled so much power that the street lights dimmed the, the perfect lighting for a street party. Cool Herc's music made everybody happy. Even street gangs wanted to dance, not fight. Gangs like the Savage Skulls, the Glory Stompers, the Blue Diamonds, the Black Cats, and the Black Spades turned into breakdancing crews who performed some of the slickest moves. Herc called the coolest dancers breakdancers, or b-boys, because they loved to dance the breaks. When Herc would find a really good break, he'd shout, B-boys, go down! Then the break dancers would cut and jump their gymnastics. Herc gathered a crew of friends to rap behind his DJing. He invited Coke LaRock, a Jamaican friend, to rap. He called him his Master of Ceremonies, or MC. Coke knew all about toasting like Jamaican DJs. He was the first of Herc's crew of MCs, called the Herculoids. Herc would introduce them with a rap. You rock and you don't stop. And this is the sounds of DJ Cool Herc and the sound system we're listening to is what we call the Herculoids. Soon kids from all over New York City came to see DJ Cool Herc, who threw the biggest and baddest parties on Cedric Avenue. Africa Babata, Grandmaster Flash, Jazzy Jeff, and dozens of others all wanted to be DJs just like Cool Herc. There's no story can't be told. There's no horse can't be rode. No bowl can't be stopped. Ain't no disco we can't rock. Herc, Herc, who's the man with a master plan for the land of grace to grace? Herc, Herc. Herc didn't just rock the block. He put the hip, hip, hop, hippity hop into the world's heartbeat. Okay, I'm going to take you over and show you how to use the Google Doodle. And for your assignment, I just want you to experiment with some things and then upload what you got so I can hear it. It's going to give you a tutorial that I want you to watch the whole thing of, but we're going to skip it for now. We're going to skip this, the this whole tutorial because I'm just going to show you really quickly the crossfader chooses which record or you can balance them out you can go over here to the records bin and you can flip through it's easy on a touch screen on my laptop i have to click and drag with my mouse and release and then if i want to choose one i'm going to double click it Choose another one. There we go. Okay, over here in BPM, you can raise that or lower it. Right now it's on auto sync, which means the beats will match whichever record I pick. And I go pick a new one. Well done, nice. That's how you do it. And you can just experiment with that. And then when you're ready, you click share. Sorry, when you're ready, you will just do a little screen recording of what you've done and upload it in Seesaw. I hope you guys have fun. Bye.